Great. Pitch Grounders, we are live on Facebook, on Pitch Ground Group, on YouTube, and other platforms as well. And today we are back again with a very special person. He is the founder of Listener, Voices by Listener on Pitch Ground. You can see him on your screen right now. Guys, say him hello, drop an emoji down below. Uh, his name is Anane, and he is the founder of Listener, a tool that can make you start your own podcast in the next 30 minutes. That's right, guys. It Usually, starting a podcast requires a lot of equipment, but Listener totally eliminates all different equipments needed, and just it all requires is the text, the script, and it can convert the script into a podcast. And you can directly publish this podcast, download it as an MP3 file, and whatnot. So for people who are joining in right now, we have five viewers joining in right now. We have six viewers. Yes, the viewer count is increasing. So guys, wherever you're joining us from, leave a comment down below. And we have planned an amazing webinar for you guys. You guys have asked, OK, what can we use a listener actually for? I think I'm doing too much of talking. Let me introduce to you Anand Patra. He's, it's his second webinar, guys. So let's cheer him up by sending an emoji down below. Anand, how are you doing? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. How are you? How are you today? I'm fantastic. Amazing. How, how's, so, the, how's the weather uh, at your place? Weather? Weather is actually raining heavily at my place. What about you? Pretty good, actually. Surprisingly, I mean, today it's been good weather after such a long time. So yeah, I'm good mood, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we are in the same country. Of course. I mean, yeah, it's north and south, by the way. We cannot say, of course, but yeah, it's north and south. The pretty bad, my bad, my bad. All right, guys. We are joining in from India. He's joining from the northern India. I'm joining from southern India. Where are you joining in from? Tell us in the comment section down below. So for those who are joining in right now, we have an amazing presentation planned for you guys in which we are actually going to show you five amazing use cases of Lesnar. How you can use Lesnar in day-to-day -day tasks. How you can use Lesnar in starting your own podcast, intros, and I'm not going to reveal the presentation right now. I'm going to let Anane show the presentation before we get into the presentation. Anane, can you tell the viewers about, uh, you know, how long, uh, like, how did you get started with Lesnar? So, Listener started, uh, I think, four, five months ago, five and a half, six months ago, I think. Uh, so this was after I finished up with my last project, which was Q News, uh, which was sort of Spotify for news, where users could listen to their favorite news on the go, on the subway, on the metro, uh, while they were at the school or on the way back from work. Uh, so that that was the startup that I was really passionate about because I thought it did solve a big problem. Um, you know, most people have such busy days. They can barely, they get barely five, six hours to sleep. And you know, work is like, it works like crazy, a hundred hours a week. I know people who, who just don't stop working. So that sort of thing. And at that moment, I, I thought, you know, there's, there's a real disconnect between the work life and the living life. So there's, there's literally no balance at all. So one way I could help to solve it from my end would uh, would be a way to help people listen to the news, you know, instead of just reading. Because it just becomes very boring, you know, having a newspaper in front of you. Uh, so I, I thought, you know, why not make an app that, does, that solves the problem, which I did. <laughs> and uh, we ended up launching and we, we did get a pretty good feedback. Now, let's say listeners sort of a brainchild of the app, I would say, where it's not just limited news, you can do anything with voice. Anything related to voice, you can do it. So AI voiceovers for your YouTube videos, if you make YouTube videos, you can make a voiceover using this now. Or if you're a student, you can um, listen to your biology textbook, um, any sort of course material, uh, chemistry, or anything that needs mugging up or needs listening to. You can do that as well. Listen to news, there you go. Listen to news as well, uh, and so many things. To be honest, start your own podcast. Um, instead of hiring a voiceover artist, you can use Listener. 
we do cost a fraction of what they do. So, uh, and yeah. on a lifetime deal. And on a lifetime deal, yes, absolutely. Because yes. not spend thousands of dollars on voice over artists, please. <laughs> so, Anane, like, how big is your team, and where is it located? So we're located in India. Uh, we have three developers. Uh, I mean, I'm let's say the fourth developer. I mean, I, I'm just everywhere. I do everything almost. Customer service, HR. And that's the job of the CEO, of course, to do anything and everything within the company. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then we have two technical advisors. One is in uh, Austria, and then another was in UC Berkeley, uh, in California. And yeah, I mean, the, as of now, uh, we we my biggest dream would be having so many users that I have like hundreds of employees I have to manage them and I'm going crazy. That's actually my dream. I, I would like that. Of course, as an entrepreneur, you would want to serve more and more customers and see more and more users actually using Listener and you know starting their own podcasts or using Listener for explainer videos or any sort of other stuff. You know, I think that's yeah. an amazing sight to see as a from a founder's perspective. Hmm. I mean, yeah, obviously. So having as many users as possible, and just keep keep acquiring users, and you know. Because it gets really exciting. The first time when we started acquiring users, oh my, the thrill, the thrill, man! I can't tell you. No. So this is like your second webinar. Yeah. Pitch grounders, you just heard the man. This is Ananay's second webinar in his entire life. <laughs> Can you imagine that? So let's cheer him up. By dropping an emoji in the comment section down below, wherever you're watching this from, on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever you're watching this, drop an emoji. Let's encourage uh, Anane uh, for today's webinar, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna shout woohoo. <laughs> so yeah, I'm imagining that whenever someone posts an emoji, I'm like woohoo. We're actually getting uh, likes. We're actually getting hearts. Thank you so much. We uh, huge shout out to Arba Busmani for. Liking and commenting. So yes, um, Anane, what have you planned for today's webinar? Uh, so, since there are a lot of ways uh, to use Listener, I mean, so many. Uh, it's going to take me years to uh, tell you all of them. I've I've sort of uh, created a list, a, a, a presentation of the five most usable ways and the coolest ways. Uh, which would help our users, listeners, users, uh, in a way, in almost every way you can imagine. So anything like e-learning, uh, if you're a teacher or you're a student, you can use this now. If you're making YouTube videos, you can use it for voiceovers. If you're if you want to start a podcast, you can start a podcast with this now. If you're coming a blogger, to YouTube videos, we have actually yeah. used this now, and the video. We've, we've used listener for it's going to be published tomorrow guys on pitch ground on everywhere and if you really want to check out listener from for those people who are joining in from instagram we have already used listener for our instagram stories we have already used listener for our instagram posts so guys there are literally so many uses but today in today's webinar we're going to discuss the five most important uses for listener followed by a demo by the founder himself so anane are you ready for today's webinar and Absolutely. you can share your screen. Amazing. There I go. So, uh, guys, do you want to use Listener? Let's give a shout out by commenting an emoji or tapping that heart button if you're watching this from Facebook. Right. Here we go. Um, my screen's visible, I think. Uh, yes, you can go to a different Maybe. tab. Perfect. Amazing. I'm going to do, I'm going to vanish right now. I'm going to let you take the stage. I know I talk a lot. <laughs> So <laughs> yes, since it's your second webinar, I want you to talk more. <laughs> and really yes. Two of many it. coming soon. Yes, let's go to five cool ways to use Lesna. Over to you. Yes. Yes. So the first one, which I didn't mention earlier on in uh, the time that I was talking with you, is improving artists. So any podcast, professional podcast uh, that you listen to. Does have an intro and outro. So, you know, like a song, guitar music, or drums, or any sort of thing like that, they, they do start 
there is there is no such thing as a beginning. They will let the music roll in, and then they slowly come in and start talking. Hey guys, this is X Y Z person. We are listening to X Y Z podcast. You know that sort of thing. So we just know we want to be part of the experience without leaving the app. So our goal at this point, and this one, is to be able to only use the the app to once they have a final product, and we do not need to have the other final product. That's our main goal. So we don't want you to ask twenty tabs or something. One listener, and then another is a hosting service, and then another is an editing service. We're going to combine all of that in this now. So, what most um, what most people do, uh, they do not provide all the updates to their LTD users, and we're not one of those people. So every coming update is going to be provided to our LTD users. So our hosting service, our analytic service, um, our editing service, all the future updates are going to be available to our LTD users. And because we see we see you guys as the early believers, that sort of thing. So we really appreciate you guys tuning in today. Uh, so for the podcast as well, um, we actually are going to be rolling out this feature in the next two days, guys. In the next two days, so you can have your own professional podcast on Listener, hosted on Listener. You know, working out and your professional page, your podcast on Spotify, iTunes, Google, anything you want. So we we'll have that in the next few days, just with specific templates. Uh, so basically, we use templates to choose, and you can add anything you want. Basically, so we have the bar, we have jazz, we have piano, we have some sound, we have waves, that sort of thing. So anything to make your podcast look very professional, we have it. So we want to make sure that the podcast is the podcast is your um, starting out right now. It's the first first podcast. We are encouraged. We make sure that we keep making podcasts because that's how that that's how we do it. Right? Then making making sure that people are enthusiastic about it and people do not get demotivated if they're just starting a podcast. So that's why we do. That's why we want to make it as professional as possible for everyone. To be honest, every user listener has. And the other thing that we have is e-learning. So. Of course, it's a two-sided thing, right? Teachers learn from students. Students learn from teachers. That sort of a thing. And on one hand, let's say you're a student, you're a biology student, chemistry student, any sort of a student. Uh, so it's always, I mean, when I was uh, learning, which was, which, I mean, when I was, you know, mugging things up and uh, learning for texts, uh, it was, it was actually, uh, I'm not really good at mugging things up. I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm more of a mathematical guy, so I can do calculations and that sort of stuff. But mugging things up, no, not possible for me. So if I had something like this when I was learning, let's say, economics principles or something like a biology concept, which requires so many things to be remembered, I wish I had listener at that point. So with listener, what you can do is, as a student, you can. You can uh, just copy and paste your materials, your course materials, onto Listener, and have them in any voice that you want, whichever you're comfortable with listening with. And once you're done reading the course material physically, because that's necessary as well, just learning, just listening won't help. So once you're done reading, you can actually paste the material into Listener and then have it as an audio form. So maybe once you're going to sleep, or you're going towards uh, your classroom, or you're traveling, or something like that, you can you can have those in your uh, phone and you know plugged into your ear. So you're just absorbing the material, you know, your subconscious is absorbing just absorbing the material. So I think I think that's very cool, and it does increase your absorption by forty percent. So you actually end up learning a lot, even though you might not think that you are learning, but you actually while writing the text, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, e-learning material for students. So, if you're, let's say, a teaching assistant or an instructor, or a class teacher, or a professor, what you want to do is, right now, I mean, especially teachers these days, we have so much social media rolling around. We have Instagram, WhatsApp. So, anything that's non-digital, the kids won't see. Trust me, <laughs> it's 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 uh, sort of chaotic for teachers as well. But I do get it. So kids just won't see if it's not on their phone. So 
the best way to tackle this for teachers or instructors is to give them an audio form of the learning material. You know, so any sort of um, certain biology snippet or any subject, to be honest, that that has anything written on it. I mean, maths can be done. We apologize for that. We'll probably find a solution for that as well. <laughs> but maths can be done, of course. Uh, anything else, you can use listener to convert. And providing your students with, you know, um, with, 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 let's say, um, tutorial videos for certain subjects. So let's say you have like a PPT and you can uh, use listener for the background or you can use listener for a video, for the video background. Anything can be done, to be honest. And then the other thing we have, voiceover for videos. There you go. It's sort of an extension of the last point. Uh, Although this is a different point that we're raising. So listener uses super realistic voiceovers. So, and also one thing that I want listener users to know, every time someone converts a voice using listener, our machine learning algorithm, it gets better. So the more users we have, the more people who convert, our voice is just gonna keep getting better, 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 better. One day you, you more do you know if it's listener or if it's a professional voiceover artist. Trust me when I say this. We've actually been seeing good results with the current users who've been using Listener and converting it to uh, use their podcasts and stuff like that. It's been pretty amazing. So the voice keeps getting better and better and better. So it's, it keeps learning on a curve, on a machine learning curve. So in terms of Listener, Listener will cost you 60 bucks, one time, lifetime deal. Voiceover artists though, 50, they start an average voiceover artist on, um, Upwork or Fiverr or any sort of a freelancing project, even it's gonna they're gonna cost you fifty dollars an hour at average, and a good voice artist that too, and it can go up to two hundred and fifty dollars. So imagine if you even if you have like uh, an hour or two hours of uh, material that you need to get done, that's easily hundred to three hundred dollars from your pocket. Now we 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 want users to spend money. On things that are only necessary, you know, financial freedom for the for the win, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I think listener comes in very handy for this. You know, sixty bucks and unlimited hours. Honestly, with any plan that you get, sixty or the agency plan, which is three hundred, we don't put a cap on the episodes that you can make. So as many episodes that you want, you got it. You can make it through listener. So ten hours of episodes, no problems. Sixty bucks, you're good. You're good with the lifetime deal. So we don't really put a cap on the episodes, although on the listener A plan, you can make three shows um, and as many episodes that you want uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the podcast show. And as for the agency plan, uh, you can make 10 episodes and 10 shows and unlimited episodes. So that's, that's pretty, that's something that we wanted all, our, all of our users to have. You know, we, we don't want to put a cap to your uh, content creation. There is no cap, right? Uh, then we have podcast hosting. So we don't want our users to leave the listener app unless they have a final product and they're happy. We want, our, we want all our users to log out when they're happy. So what we do is, there's two things. So the current users, all the podcasts are being hosted on listener. Now let's say you don't want to use listener for your podcast production. So you, you have your own audio, your own microphone, and you have the podcast ready. But you need a platform to host it on you can use listener then as well. So it's, it's literally the best of both worlds. If you don't want to use listener for production, use it for hosting. So that's, that's also one thing that comes in very handy with the LTD. So you can host it anywhere. You can distribute it anywhere. Uh, if you host it on listener, you can distribute it on Spotify, iTunes, Google podcasts, uh, anchor. I mean, literally anything. Trust me. So anything that accepts an RSS feed. So at listener, we create an RSS feed for every show. So once you update your show with some X, Y, Z info, or you start a new episode, it's just going to keep automatically updating with the RSS feed. So it's going to get updated on every platform. If you're on 10 platforms, it's going to get updated on 10 platforms. So that's why we have an RSS feed and also Spotify, iTunes, and any other podcast distribution platform does only accept RSS feeds. And we have that. So nothing to worry about on our end. Um, then we have favorite content, listen to your favorite content, you know? So, you know, this happens once every year, trust me, since I've been, since I've, uh, 
read the Art of War, which I think I was 18 or 17. I don't really remember when I read it. But I read it at least once a year. I don't know why it's a thing for me, but I have to read it every year. Now, reading it, 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 it's been changing, you know? So I lost the book. I don't know how that happened, but I lost the book. Uh, then I got it on Kindle. Kindle, uh, I don't know where it is anymore. And then I got it on my phone. Then I have an ebook. Ebook. I just don't feel like reading on an ebook because it's, it's on a computer. I have to scroll and everything. Uh, so I just don't like that. Now the next, next best solution was getting an audiobook, you know, listening to it while in the gym or uh, going to work or something like that. So that's where I found that this could be a very, very good uh, use case for many of listeners' users. So, you know, listening to your favorite book, like mine's Art of War, you know, Sun Tzu, uh, I preach, uh, you know, that sort of thing. But uh, any book, to be honest, any ebook that you have, you can convert it to an audiobook with this now. Or if you're not into reading books, you just want to listen to favorite news, you can copy the article link, paste it into listener, you have the audio version of the article. So you can do that with listener as well. We also have that uh, feature coming in the next 24 hours. So stay, stay uh, so just keep an eye on that. Uh, so that that is one of the main things uh, that I feel like listener users could benefit from. You know, having the power of audio with you all the time, be it news, be it your course material, be it AI voiceovers for your videos, uh, many YouTubers. So nowadays, actually, I've seen uh, people actually make uh, YouTube videos of Reddit comments, you know, it's, it's pretty funny, actually. So you, you would actually do that yourself as well. Uh, so, you know, screenshot Reddit comments and uh, copy and paste the content in the listener and then, you know, get sort of funny voices using listener. It's super cool. I'm actually probably going to do that myself as well. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's one of the few use cases of listener. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. I'm just going to stop the screen now. Uh, and over to you, Minong. Awesome, awesome. So there you guys have watched five ways that you can use Listener. But when you were talking in the webinar, I actually listed out more ways. And we have been actually using these ways live currently on our PitchGround uh, Instagram page. So guys, if you're watching this webinar from your computer, I would highly suggest go to the Instagram of PitchGround it's at pitch ground and you can actually check it. It's live in motion. We have actually used listener to curate our Instagram story, our Instagram post, and for all our future posts, we're going to be using listener as well. You're going to watch those posts coming up in groups. We'll be using it on our YouTube videos. So there are many, many use cases. Of course, one major use case being starting our own podcast. So if you're really I'm wondering whether you want to start your own podcast right now or if you have like say if you think you're shy with your voice or something you can actually use listener to create some episodes you can use listener to you know pause certain at certain words select the speed etc we're going to show you the demo in just a second and but emphasis this this in continuation to minag you know Emphasis, you can make it sound angry, you can make it sound happy, it can be a newscaster's voice, you can make it sound sad, anything you want. To be you know what? We, we won't talk it, we're just going to show it live in the event. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I can uh, share my screen once again. Absolutely. Just a second. Uh, there we go. Uh, yes. So we have it right here. So this is, this is the page. Uh, this is the listener share page. So, you know, basically every user the user's listener and makes a show using listener will get this page, uh, which is which is basically something you can share anywhere, you know, on Twitter, on your Facebook, any sort of social media you can share. So this is, let's say, this is my one, uh, this is just a page of one show, right? So I'm just going to play one random voice. Okay, Minank, what do you want to hear, man? One, okay, one let's ask the users, let's ask the users who are watching this right now, guys. We have so many different voices to choose from. We want you to select which voice that you want to hear. Is it English or is it Italian? You can tell us in the comment section down below and we're going to play that voice. So on the screen, we actually see Italian. So let's play Italian right now for our viewers. For sure, man. <laughs> there we go. 
I don't know. I have certain obsession with Italians because I, I of, got that. I, I got that from the last one. Now you like because I Italian. want. <laughs> I like the gelato, which is originated from Italy. I also like the pasta. So yeah, I'm down for it all the time. So let's play. Let's not. Yes. Ciao, Peach Grounders. Come sta andando tutto? Il mio nome è Mina. Anche benvenuto al mio spettacolo. So okay, she is. actually said my name. She actually said my name. <laughs> really? So, oh, so, so okay. why not input a custom text? We can do that as well. Let's see. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna start it from an existing show, or I'm just gonna paste it right here. So you see, Pitch Ground Webinar. That's the name of the show. And once I make the show here, it's gonna it's gonna update it's gonna update it in my share page. So once I make the show on listeners dashboard and I publish it, it's gonna get published on my page as well. So it, there's no manual uh, insertion, to be honest. All right, Minank, what language? Okay, guys, you can see the screen right now. I'm gonna make it big. Uh, there is English India, English Australia, English UK, France, Italy, Portuguese, Danish, Filipino. Hindi, Indonesian, Mandarin, Russian, Vietnamese, and so many voices. But for this video, I think most of our audience are from the US and watching this. So let's choose English, Australian. Yeah, Australian sounds great. Australia, yeah, somewhere in the middle. <laughs> right. We have women and uh, okay, male as well. Great. Yeah, we we have uh, two males and two females. Although we'll be adding. Uh, eight more voices, so it's gonna be it's gonna be evenly divided, you know. So uh, uh, like six for males and six for females. It's gonna be twelve more voices. Twelve voices. I, I'm uh, sorry. Let's make it Indian. I, I'm gonna see how Indian sounds. Yeah. The Indian sounds. Yes. Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's listen to you know. Let's listen to Mohan. How about that? Perfect. Great. Okay. This round. So as you can see, guys, we can actually type in our text or copy your text from yes. any article that you want to convert, etc. And then select the pronunciation, so select all the options. You just have to tone the pauses, etc. And then you can convert this into speech. Exactly. Hey, Pitch Rounders, how's it going? On this side. Hope you all are doing well, and you guys are awesome for joining the Lesna webinar. <laughs> yes, you guys watch it in real time. This is gonna be amazing. Right. Awesome. So we just have to click. Um, I'm, just gonna, I'm You know, I'm, how about I customize it a little bit on the screen so our users can see as well. Sure. Okay. So you know what? Let me let. So for once, in terms of how the user will feel, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and convert this. You know, because every user wants to listen to what they've actually generated. You know. So. Let me know if you can hear this. Hey, bitch grounders, how's it going? Mohan the side. Hope you all are doing well. You guys are awesome for joining into the webinar today. Awesome. Right, so that is Mohan talking to you guys. Let's make it uh, Australian now. We're gonna make let's it see how seamless it is. Yes. Uh, Australian, let's Eva, or anyone, anyone is fine. Convert again, and yeah. it's fine. Mohan this side. Hope you all are doing well. You guys are awesome for joining into the webinar today. Yep. Guys, so could you hear that? I can change that to Eva. <laughs> yeah. Or how about I, I can change it to some other voice as well. I can do William. Uh, let's see how William sounds like. Yeah. Hey, Pitch Grounders. How's it going? Eva this side. Hope you all are doing well. William. You guys are awesome <laughs> for joining into the webinar today. Guys, have you heard the listeners pitch over there? If you have heard, you can tell us which another voice that you wanna, you know, yes. hear, or which text you wanna type. If you wanna type your name, just comment your name, and we're gonna type that name as well. We wanna see, you wanna see how Lesnar actually pronounces your name. 
there you go we have it so these are the voices that we can choose and they automatically get added to the podcast landing page that's what you're saying exactly exactly you know <clears throat> so once once i go ahead and submit this uh i can convert it again boom there we go it takes a second or two to convert then we have the episode name let's say uh pitch ground live i'm just going to copy and paste it for now just so that our users can see the end results yes and then i have these categories as well so you know whenever you're submitting a podcast to itunes or spotify you need to specify a category that you podcast in uh to make sure that it gets um picked up by their algorithm so it's it's sort of similar to the youtubing algorithm so you want to you want to make sure that people actually discover your podcast because at the end of the day the the point is to uh, you know get get people to know what your podcast is about having as many people as possible in your podcast so let's say i go with public radio uh save so see i have this in the pitch ground webinar so these are all the episodes now i'm going going to go back to the share page i'm going to move this a little bit you can click on hi um, as soon as i reload i'm going to see at the end this is going to be the podcast boom there we go pitch ground live ep so guys if you are looking for a landing page for your podcast then this is where people can check out all your podcast if you just want to don't want to host it anywhere and if you just want to host it on this now for private use or something so let's play it yes hey pitch grounders how's it going mohan this side hope you all are doing well you guys are awesome for joining into the webinar today and also another feature so let's say once you published it uh, you you sort of don't like how it sounds like go back click back to this uh and you can you know edit it go right ahead click on edit and there's my text again so we so i think the mohan mohan this side sounded a little weird how about i add some additional pauses to it and once once that happens i change it so so it's it's automatically updating your podcast every time you make changes so once it's published once it's published boom you have everything uh that you needed so i can add a pause here as well but let me let me add something funny oh, we haven't you know the covid season has been so gloomy for me i'm i'm going to write in something very funny that's going to make all our users laugh at the end okay all right on. let's make users laugh as you wish so, so guys in the meantime you can keep dropping your questions regarding lesna regarding the words the voices etc and we are here to answer every question that you have regarding lesna and how you, and if you want any specific use cases regarding help regarding the specific use cases then you can always always let us know if it's regarding social media use cases you can ask me i will totally help you out in making your next social media post using lesna yes so since since it's already there uh the podcast i'm going to go ahead and boom refresh it here ivp great this boom hey pitch grounders how's it going mohan this side hope you all are doing well you guys are awesome for joining into the webinar today perfect that was great yes awesome awesome so guys you can literally choose any voice you want and make and convert your text into a podcast so anane we are having some questions from a listener user so let's take the questions yes any ETA ETA for, for playback control rewind 10 seconds forward 10 seconds etc right while while editing you're saying you want you want to listen to the previous 10 seconds and you want to listen to the next 10 seconds right uh so yeah that that actually we have that coming up very soon uh so i i actually got this request earlier as well uh we can have that um in the next two days on the app so we want to make sure that all our users are getting the features that they need 
getting the updates as soon as possible. I think I think Minang's video just went out. Is it? I think so. Yes. No electricity. One sec. Ah, my bad. I think okay. Minang's Minang's video went out. So it was raining on uh, his side. I think in Bangalore. Uh, so there were a lot of electricity cuts. You know, India. <laughs> so we we do have a lot of electricity cuts. And you know, people do get do stay without electricity for a few hours uh, if it's raining. Uh, so don't mind for that. Uh, okay, I made an episode with thousand plus words. It's hard to edit something in the middle. So I feel like you're talking about the tool tip. Uh, one sec. I can share my screen again. I can share my screen again. Uh, I feel like you're talking about the tool tip. To be honest. Uh, cancel. Let me go back. Leave. Right. I'll just make uh, something new, like a new episode. We will address this issue for sure um, as soon as possible. I I just choose a voice. Hey, hello. Let's uh, type this. Um, you're saying you're talking about this. I assume the tooltip. That's um, that's something that we have noticed as well. Uh, so that is a um, work in progress. So we have that done already on our end. We'll be pushing it towards the apps to the users uh, in the next 24 hours. So you'll have uh, you'll have the tooltip issue resolved pretty much. Uh, and I, I can understand why the tooltip can be laggy because there's uh, once there's thousand plus words on the text, it can take some time. I apologize for that. And it will be resolved in the next 24 hours. Uh, we we had that issue earlier, and we have done that. Uh, we have done the resolution around it. We'll just push it to the users. Uh, anything else? Mm, I don't see any comments yet. Mm -hmm. All right, Minang. I think Minang's out. All good. All good, though. Don't worry, man, Minang. Uh, I I can see you're in the comments. But I think your electricity is out, so don't worry. Uh, any specific thing any user would like to say? I can see a bunch of comments here. I made an episode with thousand plus words. It's hard to edit something in the middle. Uh, yeah, as I addressed, it's going to be resolved in the next twenty four hours. Awesome. Uh, so I just had a power cut. So guys, it's in India. It's a common thing to have power cuts if it rains outside. So apologies for that. Uh, Anane, do you do you answer any other questions that were coming in? So the last question that I see right now is I made an episode with thousand plus words. Yeah, that was answered. Um, yeah, awesome. Any, so guys, in the meantime, if you have any other questions, feel free to drop it in the comment section down below. But the main takeaway I would say for Lizna is that starting your own podcast because. Everyone's getting into podcasts, thanks to Gary Vee or we don't know who actually started this trend. Gary Vee was telling about podcasts since, uh, what, 2018 or something. And then people started getting into podcasts in real time in 2020, like getting serious about it. And why should you actually start a podcast? Because, you know, one thing, the podcast users are loyal. They keep waiting for your next episode. So if you're planning to start a podcast, I would say be consistent. The second thing, if people are not actually sitting like this and listening to your podcast and staring at a blank uh, wall or something, they're actually doing other works. I personally listen to podcasts while driving. Other people listen to podcasts while cooking or while some people listen to it while bathing. <laughs> there are some different people while literally doing anything like it's a passive activity all you need is your headphones in and you can you can listen to a podcast so yeah and anane was also telling about some uh, issues that he had uh, while you know he was in, out in traffic or something he couldn't read so he actually had to plug in his headphones he converted an article with listener plug in his headphones and then actually started reading that particular article and there are many, many use cases for listener guys. We listed out the five. You saw the five use cases. 
you can let us know if you need the presentation. We'll be happy to share the link with you. And if you have any questions regarding listener or regarding uh, how to, you know, actually use listener to improve, start your own podcast for intros, etc. You can always, always reach out to us at Team Pitch Ground and Team Lesna as well. So let's take in a couple of more questions before we wrap this webinar up. We have some awesome webinars coming, by the way, with Lesna. We are going to talk about monetization options yeah. for uh, your podcast. And we're going to discuss all different types of monetization options that you can use uh, if you are a podcaster. Because guys, I'm sure after doing certain episodes, you definitely want to look at uh, money, right? If money isn't coming, then why are you even doing it? So yes, many, many use cases, but the main use case is podcast. And if you're watching this right now, you should start our own podcast. You should start your own podcast because we at Pitchground started our own podcast as well. It's called SaaS Council and weekly, it's a weekly podcast where our founders actually talk about SaaS, about minimum viable product and etc. It directly targets at people who are into SaaS, SaaS founders, etc. and actually helps them understand the concepts of SaaS better. Uh, if you're into SaaS, then definitely you need to listen to SaaS Council. We are also launching another podcast in a video style show. And uh, what we're doing is um, we are using it for social media posts, et cetera. You're going to see more of social media posts done by Lizna in the coming days. So yes, it's a lot of exciting stuff with Lizna. We're going to try out many different stuff. So guys, if you have any questions down below, you can leave us all the questions down below. So Anane, when are you planning to start your own podcast, like Lizna's podcast? Very I know you've been held up in a lot of work. So yeah. yeah, very soon actually, you know, okay. I'm going to drop a hint. It might've been already done. We just haven't published it yet using okay. Listener. Yeah. So, you know, once is once is out there, you'll know for sure. That's for sure. Awesome. You'll know. Awesome. We, we'll have, a, but just to maybe give you a, a sneak peek sort of, we'll have a weekly podcast where Listener covers anything and everything about the latest news, AI, business, finances, anything. Awesome. So uh, we didn't show the demo of uh, the guitar, etc. Can you see my yes. screen? Anani? Yep. So I, uh, so we actually cooked up a intro style template. You can actually add voices like guitar or piano or calming voices. So. Let's play this. I think you're you're ahead here, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me um, remove my headphones and we're gonna route this voice via back PC. Just let me know if we are audible at any time. I'm gonna share my screen. Perfect. So actually, uh, check out, check this out. Hi, Pitch Grounders. Welcome to my show. My name is Anani Batra, founder of Prisina, and I am your host for today. Today's show, we talk about Listener and how it helps you to start your own podcast without recording anything. Listener supports over 17 languages and has 60 plus different voices to choose from. Please give every podcast a unique touch. Podcasts made using Listener can be easily customized by the user with changes in speed, emphasis, and mood. Every podcast feels good. That's it for today's show, and thank you for joining me in this journey. Hope you all have a good day. Cheers. So, what you just witnessed is the calming music that we added for the intro, for the podcast, and outro. This is going to be a new update for Listener in the coming weeks. So, just keep an eye on it. Listener users, those who have bought it already. And for those who didn't buy it, I would say just give it a try. Try using Listener on your social media posts or for intros, etc. And 
if you don't like it you always have the option for refunding it so there's literally uh, no catch or nothing no questions asked so try it don't like it. okay i i think that's another power cut uh <laughs> but let's see Let, let's uh, okay how many of you guys have seen suits what would harvey do what would minang do right now so <laughs> you know what so i'm going to continue in for him uh we can go like uh, all right guys that's it for today uh this is minang with our host anane and i guess we're, we're done for the podcast we'll, we'll see you guys later <laughs> okay he's back Denied. i'm back uh, these terrible internet issues so yes so you can always try it if you don't like it you can just refund it it's no question asked but i would want you to start your own podcast with that we're going to wrap up today's webinar thank you anane for joining today and sharing the five use cases that we can use to you know to do anything like intros etc with lesna and thank, thank you so much that. guys for joining today's webinar and you were telling something thank you for having me minang always love interacting with the pitch grounders and you know these guys are early believers so we really appreciate the pitch grounders awesome awesome all future updates would be covered for the ltd buyers so they don't have to worry and honestly we have future webinar many more webinars coming up and anane congratulations this is your second webinar done finally yes uh yes second, two of many i'm sure uh, you know, pitch grounders will keep seeing you even after the ltd is over we're going to be coming up with weekly podcast for less now yeah absolutely so thank you so much guys for joining in for today's webinar more webinars coming soon and wherever you are stay safe we're going to see you around see ya bye